Susan Hudson has released the letter that was handed to them by the inmates at the Orleans Justice Center, and we are continuing to follow that protest that's happening inside. They have a list of requests, and they have still not come to an agreement with the sheriff's office to end that protest that's happening inside the Justice Center. Erica Ferrando brings us the latest tonight. A message scribbled on sheets of paper is on display from inside a pod in the Orleans Justice Center. Inmates who barricaded themselves inside their pod shouted to those outside as activists, including Jay Martell, shouted back to show support Sunday evening. Keep it going! It's important that we're out here to show solidarity with uh, people who are incarcerated. The inmates of the high security 2E pod are violent offenders and suspects, according to Sheriff Susan Hudson, who added this is the same pod where three recent stabbings occurred. They barricaded themselves in Friday and handed jail staff a handwritten list of requests. Sheriff Hudson released that letter Sunday. It says we the people are tired of being treated in such an inhumane manner and the inmates listed off requests including books, washer and dryer replacements, another TV, more recreation time. The sheriff's office says the requests for a washer and dryer are likely due to residents breaking those machines to fashion weapons in the past. They also said they're in their cells 20 hours a day and want more time outside of lockdown. One of the inmates in that pod is Stephen Jones' son. It could turn bad at any minute so I'm hoping they resolve this matter. He worries for his son who has been incarcerated for four years waiting for trial. Check on y'all people because, I mean, right now it's, it's, it's a bad situation going on. The inmates shouted they have not had food or water since Thursday. Sheriff Hudson's office says deputies have offered the residents food, water, and medication, but they have repeatedly refused it. Now in its third day, the standoff with inmates and sheriff's deputies has remained nonviolent. As Sheriff Hudson said in a statement, I promised our community that we would reduce the use of force inside OJC, and I intend to honor that promise. According to Sheriff Hudson's office, deputies are still trying to de-escalate the situation. They are negotiating with the inmates to try and come to an agreement without the use of force. But according to the sheriff's office, all offers to resolve this matter have been refused by the leaders of the protest. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.